Hello, all you space engineers out there. It is day 41 here on the frozen rock, and we ended the last episode with a catastrophe. And I have been sitting here trying to figure out how to deal with it. Now, one thing I have kind of discovered that my build had a flaw in it anyway, so it was not going to function the way it should have. Instead of putting a piston from there down to here, I should have had just conveyor tubes from there down to here. Then the piston, just like it is here, uh, going out, except I would have needed another set of, uh, if I wanted three pistons, I would have to do another conveyor setup of conveyor uh, junctions and turning it around and then a piston uh, then it would not have been pushing against itself what would have happened here is this piston even if it was in properly would have been pushing against this piston and that's not what you needed it uh, the reason the first piston worked is because the whole uh, apparatus was pushing against the whole thing and so was pushing it forward. So I think what I'm going to try to do today is settle for two pistons and if I can just get uh, the conveyor uh, ports in and let's just see I don't know if I've got materials on that I can do that with. Uh, no I need steel plates. Didn't I get any steel plates? I do have steel plates, okay. Let's, uh... Huh. Wonder why that is not... Oh, probably... Let's see here. I would have expected a tube to fit in there. Let's see something here. Just just curiosity. Okay, that'll hook onto there, but it won't hook onto there. Uh, and it's going to need two. I wonder what's blocking it. All right, well, I'll have to figure that out. What I'm going to try to do is adjust this either with a piston to move it around and uh, see if I can't use weld pads. Let's try one more thing here. Let's see if a weld pad would It'll go there. Okay, it would go there, but it won't go there. I might have to take that out. All right, well, anyway, that's kind of the plan. Once I get a little farther along with it here and I have some uh, things in place, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you all. All right, well, I've been doing a lot of thinking on this, and I think I kind of have a bit of a plan. Uh, I don't know if it'll work or not. So I've got weld pads on the end of my two uh, conveyors, uh, pipes. And so I'll build, I'll build all of that stuff out and I don't think 
Well, I know it won't weld because it's not quite close enough. But all I need to do is nudge this over enough to where those will line up and then they should weld. And they should be close enough. I extended the other piston out one tenth of a meter and so it gave me enough room to put the weld pads on. So I also am thinking that I can build out my platform right here and I'm hoping that I can build it out enough to be able to nudge this portion over so that that will weld up. Uh, so once I have a little more of an update, once I have the wireframe of this uh, built out and I'm ready to kind of build those pieces together, I will uh, catch back up with you and give you an update and actually probably hopefully be ready to weld this up and uh, see if we can get this to connect up. So I'll be uh, back with you here in a little bit. Okay, I just got back from getting all of my parts and uh, I think I've got everything in place. I just got to weld everything up and then uh, execute it. So let's uh, get down here and weld this stuff up and see what will happen. Uh, let's see, I want to go over here. Got this framework all around over here. Now I can get over and onto here. I can jump up to here, so let's get this welded. And let's get this welded. And we can get the weld pads welded. Okay. So now the idea is this this piston I hope is long enough. If not, I can add blocks on the end of it to give it the extra extension that it will probably need. But let's get it welded up. Now it's tied into the base power so I didn't have to worry about power. If I would have put it onto the drills out there like I was originally thinking to try to raise it a little bit, uh, I would have had to figure out some power to put on the drills. So let's see. Uh, let's uh, turn that on. Uh, I want to change this to minus point one. I want this to move real slow. And in maximum distance right now, let's put it at three. And let's go ahead and reverse it. I should start moving that out a little bit. This will tell us if we need to add some more Okay, that's three. Now I should be okay. All right. Well, let's add another meter. Let's uh, make this four. Looks like it pushed it some. Ah, uh, I just... Because it's 
that's stop pushing that. It's pushing this one here. Or it should be. I might have to put another piston on which that might it's going to force it out this way just trying to get the right angle on it if I put another piston going this away that should put leverage going that way let's push this a little more put it up to five and see if that does anything all right it did oh uh, we got clang working on it Let's pull this back just a little bit. So we want to minimum distance at 4.8, let's say, and reverse that. The angles are just a little bit wrong. And, oh, you know, I still have the option of being able to bring this piston down a little bit if I need to. I was kind of worried about that. So height-wise, I should be able to take care of that all right I think I need to build another piston and I don't think I have the parts for it let's see what we got here uh, where do I want to stick it in I just got to get it lined up I might have to go back one let's uh, pull out uh, let's put another block in over here thinking if I kind of push from this direction if I can just get the right angle on it all right so it will go on to that block right there is that uh it will kind of push that might be the leverage that I need let's see if we can build that oh you know what <laughs> uh, I need to dig in around this otherwise I won't have a way out all right let's see See how many parts I have. Uh, I need some steel plates. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to run back over to the other base to get parts. So once I get back with the parts to build this, I will uh, catch. Actually, you know what? Ah, <sighs> uh, that going to be too high. can't tell well I'll bring enough parts for two pistons in case I have to grind this one out and drop it down so I'm gonna go get parts for that and then I will be back here in a little bit 
Okay, I am back. I've got my parts. Yeah, let's get this thing built. And if it's too high, I got an idea that I could put uh, put a block on, on it. Let's move this out. Where's? Let's see. Where is the? Oh, there it is. All right. Is there one on this side? one in the back. All right. Uh, we can work with this one here. All right. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's set this to a minus point one. And let's set the maximum distance right now to. Uh, Point one. I just want to, and then reverse. I just want it out a little bit, so that I can put a block on here. Actually, I think I want to. Let's do this. Six. Put that right there. I think I want to grind this one out. All right. Put a block there. I actually, uh, you know what? That might be just the right height. All right. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, let's go point. Let's add another couple of points to it. Let's go to point three. Okay, that's putting that a little bit closer. Let's push this one out one more and see what happens. Let's put this back to Let's just reverse this. <sighs> I wished I could get an angle on it just and push it straight over. Let's push this one out a little bit more. Okay. I am going to drop drop that other piston down yeah, let's see if I can do it from here that should be coal piston should be that one right there let's uh, put it velocity at point one. And let's make the max distance point one and reverse it. Why didn't that? Uh, Should have moved that. Hmm. 
Pretty sure. I don't know. Can I get up to it? That should have been it. I don't know why it's not... Go look at it. Unless it's got something that is, oh, uh, son of a gun, how much you want to bet that it's not going down because of. Yeah, it's not going down because of that. Oh boy, this is really turning into a, a mess. A real mess. I wonder, all right, let's do this. We're gonna get a little drastic here. Piston number one. We're going to need it to go down at least probably point three. And we want to reverse this. And so if we now start jostling this around, I know this could be a very bad idea. But let's push this one out a little bit more. Its current position is 0.9. It's not going to go out any farther. It seems to have pressure on it. All right, well, I only want, let's see if this one will move. Well, that one moved some. The whole problem is that is cockeyed. I actually think it's over far enough if I could just get this one to come down. And the problem is, that's cockeyed down there. Well, let me see if, if it did come down some. Ah, son of a gun, I just... I wished I had a way of pushing on that bottom. All right, let's see something here. And my co-pilot just hopped up here. Come on, you gotta get over here and lay down a little bit. Get out of the way, I can't see the screen. 
All right, co-pilot is in place. Now maybe we can get something done. Yeah, right. Well, my only other option is to come down here and build this side out and try to build a piston underneath here that I can push on the bottom. And I think that that's what I'm probably going to have to do. Unless... Unless... This is doing something here, which, uh, this could be detrimental to my health. This could really be detrimental. Did that do anything? Well, yeah, that did a lot. That really messed things up. Yeah. I know this will work. I, I might just have to just tear it all down. And we're already at uh, 36 minutes. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to uh, think about this, and I'll get back with you in just a little bit. Well, I think I've come to the conclusion I'm going to have to just grind this all out and just start over. It is not, uh, I'm just not getting to where I need to be able to rotate that. I don't have the room to build out the mechanisms that I could probably use. So I think the easiest way at this point is to just grind it all down and uh, start over. I don't have to, I mean, I don't have to grind that down. Those will stay in place, so I just need to grind uh, this bottom portion out, the four drills, and uh, just rebuild that. Uh, build it in properly. I can build uh, the conveyor pipes out and then drop it down, put a piston in, uh, and I'll either have to go with two or four if I want to get some distance on this. I've got to decide. So that will be for the next episode. All right. Well, <laughs> struggles with the commander. Catastrophe for sure. Uh, well, but we will get this mining operation working properly. All right, well, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And with that, uh, actually, space engineers, keep building away. Don't uh, let things like this uh, deter you. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.